You've got to look smart in the court tomorrow, so I brought in your suit and your tie. You know the ones what we wore at Charlie's funeral. Charming. God bless him. And I've left money for your tobacco with the man at the door. Yeah. Might be something left once he's finished, I suppose. So how are you? Oh, all right. You know. You've spoken to anyone? Who? The old Bill, of course. Who else? Oh. Well, at least they rang me at work, you know, to tell me they'd be picking me up tomorrow morning. Crafty sods. Who? Well, can't you see what they're doing? What? They're buttering you up, so you'll say what they want. I'm only going to tell them the truth. Oh, yeah, and what's that then? Well, what I saw, what you told me. Anyway, I've already told the police what you said. Yeah, I know. Well, what matters is what you say tomorrow. I can't lie, Nick. I ain't asking you to lie. Well, what are you asking me to do, then? Just remember what I was like. Tell them I didn't know what I was saying. I was delirious. But you wasn't. Of course I was, you stupid old bat. You gave me drugs and you were locked up for weeks. Yes, but I was trying to get you off them drugs. No, no, I mean before that. You went out and bought me stuff, didn't you? It's you, Ma. You made me like that. I didn't. I wouldn't be here now if you'd left me alone. And now I'm in court to mother killing someone. And it weren't my fault. You've got to tell them that. Tell them I didn't know what I was doing. Well, I don't know that, do I? I only know what you told me. You believe that? Your own flesh and blood? I don't know what I believe. Some mother you are. Put your own son behind bars. I didn't. I haven't. Tell lies about me. Lock me up. Get me so I don't know I'm oh, coming or going. Nick. Get me so I have to try and run away. Oh, if you had knocked me up, I wouldn't have to do that, would I? I wouldn't even be there. Nick. All right. All right, I'm sorry. I'm just frightened, that's all. I didn't do nothing. Weren't my fault. I know that, Ma. Everyone does. But you've got to help me. You're the only one who can. So you reckon he definitely did it, then? Of course he did. Admitted it to Dot just before they took him away. Yeah, let's hope they put him down for good this time. The best thing that can happen to Dot. I don't think she'd agree with you. She was really upset this morning. She's always been the same. Doesn't matter what he does, she always takes him back. This Royal was an ex-copper, wasn't it? They'll throw me the key, man. Could have happened to a nicer bloke. And are you not giving evidence? Well, it's me, Clyde, Dot, of course. And that's all, I think. Mm, I can't say I'm looking forward to it. You just telling what you know. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to be careful, though, don't you? Why? Well, these law blokes, they know what they're doing, don't they? They can tie up and not say you don't know what you're saying. Well, I'm off. You working up? And now I'm going down to the club. There's an apprentice match on. Do you, uh... Back to some company. I've not been to a match down south for years. <laughs> well, it's not as easy as that, really. You see, I'm not going straight there. I've got one or two things to drop off on the way. Well, that's all right. I'll, I'll give you hand. <laughs> you can't do that. I mean, I might be held up. I might not make the match at all. Oh, suit yourself. Yeah. Uh, another time. Yeah. Well, definitely, definitely. You are. Yeah. Double the gate, you know. Take someone with you. I'll <laughs> well, see you, lot. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. Well, I think you had a lucky escape, Richard. Not like after that. He's usually begging people to go with him. Well, you know what these gardeners are like? Probably got a bit of skirt in a potting shed. <laughs> Don't forget what I said. No, I won't forget. You make it sound bad for me. I ain't never gonna get out of here. You know that. You gotta go. It's important, Ma. Don't let me down. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. It's down to you, what you say. Darn it. It's down to you. You know that. I'm your son. Don't let them lock me up again, Ma. I'll kill myself. You gotta tell them, Ma. I didn't know what I was doing. You tell them that, eh? You'll regret it if you don't. You do want me here, don't you, Arthur? Hmm? I mean, you didn't ask me because you were feeling guilty or anything about the other day. Hmm? I think I'll take all my clothes off and run across the pitch. Hmm. Arthur, you're not listening to me. Oh, I'm sorry, love. What did you say? You do want me here, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. I asked you, didn't I? Yeah. I just can't understand why. You said you wanted to go out. Go on, pass it! Yeah, but I was thinking of somewhere a bit quieter. Arthur. <laughs> You've only said three words to me since I got here. I'm sorry, love. Do you want to go somewhere else? Well, I don't want to spoil your fun. It just... I can't see what I'm doing here. Well, I wanted to see you. Did you? Yeah, of course I did. Arthur. Hang on a minute, love. Hey, Stan. That kid on the right wing. Who is he? Aidan Brosnan. I haven't seen him before. I haven't seen much of him myself. He's had more knocks than a brothel keeper's front door. <laughs> Trouble is, there's nothing of him. Ooh. 
Excuse me, Arthur. Arthur. Oh, I'm sorry, Christine. Oh, don't mention it. I'm having a great time. Add a gear, add a gear. I don't want any more trouble, all right? I've just come in here for a talk. Yeah, I've seen you two talking before, remember? I mean it anymore, and I'll have you both out. I promise. Go on, I'll fetch it over. Do you want a drink? Speaking to me now, then, are you? Man, don't ever want to fall out of you in the first place. Could have fooled me, Sam. All right, suit yourself. No, wait, Sam. I'm sorry as well, all right? I want to talk, Ricky. Cheers. Not really. So why did you say what you did? I suppose I was jealous. I was really looking forward to it, Sam. I know you was. I can't believe when you just went without me. It weren't my fault. You could have said you wouldn't have gone without me. Oh, and you'd have done it for me? Of course I would. Now you're lying. So what was it like? Yeah, it was all right. You slept with him, didn't you? Didn't you? No, I never. Now he was lying? What was it like? Man! Was he better than Ricky? Mind your own business. <laughs> I didn't think you'd do that, Sam. Love him. You've only known him five minutes. So? So, did he get anything? Hey? Did he get you anything like presents or that? Like what? You know, money for clothes, anything. I would have. Yeah, well, I ain't you, am I? Yeah, but he's rolling in it, Sam. He would have given it to you. Yeah, I don't want him for his money. So what do you want him for? I told you, I love him. Now you're just being stupid. Why? Blokes like that, Sam, they, they only want one thing. Clive ain't like that. Of course he is. Aren't you just jealous because he fancied me and not you? Don't be stupid, Sam. I just don't want you to see him taken for a month, that's all. I won't be. So you're going to see him again then? Yeah. Well, when? I don't know yet. But you will? Of course. Maybe he's got what he wants and that's it. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? You don't like me doing nothing on my own. Of course not. Sam, you're my mate. I just don't want to see you get hurt, that's all. But you're the one who's always saying when you see your chance, you've got to take it. But man, this is my chance. I'm going to take it. Well played, son. Cheers. Yeah. Only you don't want to keep getting caught in possession. See, if you get rid of the ball early... You... And, uh, who are you? Oh, I'm Martha Fowler. Oh. So, uh, you work with the club, then? Oh, no, no, no. Just a supporter. Oh. You're Irish. Yeah, there's no fool in you, is there, Mr... Uh, Fowler. Arthur Fowler. Yeah. But you live here now, yeah? Yeah. Club digs. Just down the road. Yeah. Now listen, what I was saying about getting caught in possession, if you get rid of the... Listen, I'd love to stay in top, but just got to have a word with Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So see you later, yeah, Mr. Fowl. Yeah. He seems like a nice young boy. Yeah, he thinks we're married. He probably saw you ignoring me on the touchline. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Ricky, get off, please. What's that? Am I saying hello? Well, don't, you're all dirty. I never used to bother you. Yeah, but it bothers me now. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I just don't like you annoying me when you're all day, that's all. Well, I don't work so I enjoy it, you know. Someone's got to bring some money in. What, so we can live in one room above a pub? Oh, we'll find somewhere else, soon. I've been saying that since the day we got married. Well, it ain't that easy, is it? Nothing ever is with you, is it, Ricky? A lot of people worse off than us, you know. You reckon? Yeah, well, some husbands come home and beat their wives, not kiss them. Maybe you should try it. Yeah, well, maybe I should. I'll tell you what, you have a lay finger on me, and I will kill you. No, you wouldn't. I would. When you two are finished, any chance of some food? Yeah, I'm just making it. Well, don't let us stop, yeah? Are you all right, Princess? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, you do give him a bit of a hard time. Don't you start, Grant. Look, look is there something going on here I don't know about? No, nothing. And if there was, you would tell me, wouldn't you? Look, there's nothing going on. If you say so. Yeah, I'll do. I haven't got enough to worry about getting this place ready. Well, I can't just ignore it. Why not? Because I'm still his mum. How old is he? 23. Yeah, going on 40. Look, you don't know him like I do. He's not as tough as he likes to make out. Well, I still say you've got to let him make his own mistakes. Even if he's about to make the same mistake twice? Yeah, even then? Yeah, well, I can't. Why not? <laughs> because he's got a mental block where Cindy's concerned, that's why. He can't see her for what she is. And what exactly is she, then? Well, it ain't hard to work out, is it? I mean, she left him when he was still struggling to make a guy of the business, and now he's done it and got a few quid, well, she suddenly comes crawling back out the woodwork. So he won't thank you for interfering, you know? Oh, and that's what you think I'm doing, is it? Interfering? Look, it's what he thinks that's important. You didn't see what she did to him when they split up. It took him a long time to pick himself up again, and I'm not just going to stand by and watch him go through that all over again. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Just don't go rushing in feet first, that's all. It might not come to anything yet. I have no intention of letting that little bitch get her claws into him again, all right? I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that don't happen. I'll just go and make some room. You all right? Never bet. Sure? Or should not be? Well, in case you ain't noticed, your missus done a run yesterday. She'll be back. Is this it then? What? You're just going to sit here like this all night? Well, it's better than sitting upstairs. You know what I mean. No, I don't. Sam, you've been away for three days and you haven't even told me anything about it. I told you, there's nothing to tell. There must be. Well, there's not. So can I have another drink, please? <sighs> Come on, Jaggy, give us a sink on the old ivies. <laughs> My old men sit below the man and don't be lally on the way. <laughs> Here. Oh, hello, well, Mum. You going home? Well, yes, yeah, a general idea. Well, what are you coming for a drink? We've got to do one tonight. No, I'd uh, better not. I've got lots of paperwork to catch up with. Oh, come on. I'm sure you've got time for a quick one. Well, I'd rather get back. All right, see yourself. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you left your lights on. Forget me if you weren't screwed up. <laughs> yeah. On. Oh, sorry. All right, gents. Upstairs. We can't talk down here. I don't see what there is to talk about. How much longer are we going to go on like this? I'll give it a rest with you. No, I won't. I want to sort things out. What's that about? Yes, let's. Have you got any champagne? What? Champagne? Uh, Claude, have you got any champagne? Yeah, Avery, a cold cup. Sorry. Well, let's do a couple of bottles on ice, eh? And we'll have four bottles of lager while we're waiting. Go on. <laughs> Just because they put one of his lights on. No. Oh, what then? Well, he won't go for a drink either, would he? Yeah, but it's probably because I'm with him. No, there's something else. Look, I suppose he has got somebody in there. It doesn't have to be Cindy, does it? Well, then why didn't he just say? So why do you think he's overreacting? So you think I should just ignore it then nothing's happening? No. Well, we should just wait and see if anything does happen before you go in off the deep end. Yeah, I mean, there's enough friction already between me and him without you making it worse by jumping to conclusions. Now, let me go to this. Trouble? Well, they come in here with a couple of bottles of bubbly and started singing Knees Up Mother Brown. Yeah, got a bit of wine, haven't they? Got to be. Yeah, well, if they get out of there, give us a shout, eh? I wouldn't even break into a sweat. Yeah, well, even so, give us a shout, yeah? Yeah, well. How much? 18.50 each. Right. He's all right. How much do I owe you? 25 quid each. It's uh, very reasonable. Cheers. your famous East End hospitality. You know, you've only just come down here to take me. You ain't no better than us. Do you know that? Is that right? Yeah. So why don't you go and swing your okay? Without saying hello to Samantha. And she'd never forgive me. Why? Samantha! Fancy seeing you here. What are you doing here? Just passing. Yeah, well, don't let us stop. Are you working him with your foot? 
you gonna get lost or do I have to throw you out? Oh, I can see what you mean now. No class. I ain't gonna tell you again. Okay. <laughs> I was going to offer you both a glass of champagne. I don't think I'll bother now. Stuff your champagne. Ricky, will you stop it, please? You ought to listen to her. She obviously doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Oi. I think you better leave. Oh, but we haven't done My Old Man's a Dustman yet. I was looking forward to that. Yeah, well, I think you'd be happier someplace else, all right? Well, thanks for your concern, but I'm fine where I am. Yeah, well, let me put it another way. If you ain't out of here in ten seconds, your pals over there have to carry you out, all right? <laughs> Such warmth. Yeah. I must come again. Yeah, all right. We are still open, you know. Jackie. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine now. Sam. Sam, what was all that about? I don't know, do I? Did you know he was coming here then? Of course I didn't. So what was he doing here then? I want to know what's going on. I told you there's nothing going on. Oh, look, Sam, you just stood there. So? What would you expect me to do? You, you could have told him to get lost. Why? Because you're with me. So? And there's other stuff. Like what? Why'd you have to be so moody all the time for a start? I didn't know I was. Oh, come off it. I'd have to look at you the wrong way and you fly off the handle. I don't know what you're talking about, Ricky. Yes, you do. Ever since you got back from this weekend, I've been trying to ask you what's happened and you just go funny on me. I told you there's nothing to tell. Maybe there is, but you're not telling me. Oh, you reckon? Have you been seeing him? What? You have me. Have you been seeing him? Oh, don't be so stupid. Well, it's the only way I can think of it. Why else would you be acting like this? Just leave it, Ricky. I really don't want to talk about it. Well, I do. We'll talk about it on your own, then. Where are you going? I'm going to bed on my own. What's going on? Slight problem. Mr. Stevens is still tied up in court three. I got in a court in an hour and you'll tell him I ain't got a brief. This was always a possibility, Nick. Now, fortunately, I've managed to get hold of Jennifer Wakeham. She's read your case and she's willing to take it on. A bird? I'm about to be banged up for life and you're telling me I've got a bird defending me? We could always apply for an adjournment. That's true. And if that's what you want, I can start to put the wheels in motion. But personally, I think you'd be making a mistake. Jennifer Wakeham's better than we could have hoped for. She's read the brief and I know her. And she wouldn't take it on unless she thought you had a chance. Now she's going to be here soon, so the least you can do is talk to her. What if I don't like her? Then we can try to adjourn. Can't do any harm. If we get an adjournment, how long before we get a new date? Hard to say. But in the meantime, I go back inside, right? Afraid so. All right. I'll talk to her. I ain't promising nothing. Oh, hi, are you finished? Uh, for now, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, uh, sit down, I'll do you some breakfast. Oh, Tom. Talk to Ian this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What to talk to? No, he was, uh, just on his way to work, I think. Oh, right. There you go. You know that girl you thought you saw gone into, uh, Ian's flat, the one you thought was, um... What, Cindy? Cindy. What about her? She got uh, blonde there. Yeah. Ah. You've seen her again, haven't you? I think so, uh, yeah. Where? You're not going to like this. I can't believe this is happening. It really isn't that unusual, Nick. Oh, well, that's all right then. That makes me feel much better. That does. Just relax. I've heard about Wakeham. She's good. Relax, he says. It's all right for you. It's all in a day's work for you, isn't it? Be some other mug next week. Nobody's going to make you go into court unless you're happy with your counsel. I'm Jennifer Wakeham. If you haven't much time, I suggest we get straight down to it. I didn't do it, you know. It was an accident. I'm sure the jury will arrive at the right decision based on the evidence put before. Now, I have here the brief, including the transcript of the police interview tapes. Your so-called confession. Yeah. They made me say all that. That was very obliging of them. I quite like it. Now, it says here, and I quote, he just kept pushing me. Pushing me back. Yeah, that's right. I was just trying to get past him. To go where? I don't know, anywhere. Just to get away. And he prevented you from doing so? Yeah. Good. And you'd had no dealing up to this point? What sort of dealing? 
You hadn't argued or fought before this particular night. I never said more than two words to the geezer. And he initiated the confrontation. Eh? He stopped you physically from going past him. Yeah, like I said, he started pushing me. Accident within self-defence. Yeah, that's it. That's what it was. An accident. And you'd like me to represent you? Can you get me out of here? I've no idea. But from what I've seen so far, I think we can prepare a solid enough case. Yeah. All right, then. Good. I'll try and justify such an enthusiastic response. Now, I have a very definite flaw in my character, Mr. Cotton. I loathe surprises. Aside from what Trevor's told me and what's in here, is there anything else you ought to tell me? Nah, can't think of nothing. I'd rather you were a little more emphatic. Nah, that's it. Right. Well, let's just run through some of the main points, shall we? Make sure I haven't missed anything. Well, good luck, please. I saw you. You were telling everyone how much you love Simon and how you'd never go back to Ian. You don't understand. Oh, I understand better than you think. You got a bloody nerve coming back here after what you did. What happened wasn't just my fault. No? Where'd he come from then? Well, you found him, did you? I mean, you weren't married to Ian, but he's not here, so where'd he come from? The floor of the Queen Vic, Well, Leave him out of this. No, I won't. I mean, he's part of it and he's part of the meal ticket. It's not what you think. Well, then why don't you tell me what I think? Ian's just helping me out for a while. Yeah, I bet he is. Done it right for himself now, ain't he, Cindy? The mill machine, this flat, nice car, a few quid in the bank. That's not why I'm here. I'll save the innocent routine for him, will you? Don't work on me. You'll never change, Cindy. You're the same the day you married in as the day you left him. You were a slag then and you're a slag now. Don't try and tell me you're different because I don't believe you. You've it. got no right to talk to me like this. Haven't I? Who do you think I had to pick up the pieces after you went, eh? Who was it who had to sit downstairs night after night, listen to my son of his sob and his heart out? Not you, me. Don't you tell me I've got no right. I hate your guts, do you know that? But I only hope you never have to go through with him what I went through with Ian. And if you think I'm just going to sit by and watch you do it all over again, you have got another thing coming. I'll kill you first, so help me God. I didn't come back here to hurt you. I don't care what you came back here for. You're not going to get the chance. Now, if there's any part of you left that's still decent and honest, you'll pack your bags, take that, and get out of here and never come back. Because if you don't, I'll do time for you. I swear I will. And save the waterworks where you silly cow. I'm not interested. As far as I'm concerned, you can choke on them. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Cotton. How are you feeling this morning? Fine, thank you. Would you like to take a seat? Can I get you a cup of tea or something? Come on, Doc. Do you good. Mother! What do you think? Seems to have crossed the case very quickly. Is she any good, though? Just relax. We'll be going up soon. But what's all that about liking my confession? I thought we were going to try and scrap all that. You'd do well to take her advice. If she's happy, there must be a very good reason. This accident thing she was going on about. Do you think it'll work? Well, she says there's no guarantees. But if it does, I'll walk, right? Oh, I just wish she was a geezer. I don't think that matters. What was the wrong time of the month or something? I could go down because she's got PMT. Right. I'll see you upstairs, then.
won't be long now, Dot. He's really alone, isn't he? My Nick, I mean. He'll have someone with him. His solicitor, the barrister. Yeah, but I mean, they don't really care what happens to him, do they, Pete? Of course they do. It's their job. Yes, but they don't care like I do, do they? Dot, they're going to do their best for him. Yeah, but it ain't the same. I mean, all these people here, there's no one here to speak up for him. They're all against him. Even me. You're not against him. You're just here to say what you saw and heard, same as the rest of us. Yeah, but you don't want him to get off, Joe, do you, Pete? Well, I do if he's innocent. Yeah, but you don't think that, do you? No, it's not down to me one way or the other. I mean, that's why we're here. It's put everything in the open, and then it's up to the jury. He hates it in that prison. We're all here to see that he stays there. We're here to tell the truth. That's important, isn't it, Pete? Telling the truth. Yes, it's important. Could the indictment be put? Please stand up. Are you Nicholas Charles Cotton? Yes. Nicholas Charles Cotton, you are charged on the indictment with murder. And the particulars of that offence are that you, on the 10th day of September 1991, murdered Edward John Royal. Are you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. 